Hello everyone. In today's class, we are solving exercise 4.3, class 9, ICSC board. In question number 13, it is 2x to the power 4 minus 32. When we take 2 comma, it is x to the power 4 minus 16. Further, if we factorize, it can become x square whole square minus 4 whole square. As we already know that there is an identity x square minus y square is equal to x minus y and x plus y. So when we have to factorize this, it becomes twice of x square minus 4 in one bracket and x square plus 4 in another bracket. Here one thing is very very important that if in case in two terms there is a positive sign in between then we cannot factorize it further. But if it is a negative sign, to this we can write x square minus 2 square and this is x square plus 4 already. 2 was already common again. Now this is again in the identity format x square minus y square which can be written as twice of x minus 2 into x plus 2 and x square plus 4 comes as it is. So this is the factorization of 2x to the power 4 minus 32. Now if we look at this then first of all we have to understand that which value we can take common. In these two terms b plus c can be taken as common term. It is a square minus b plus c whole square. Again the same identity goes in it. It is a minus b plus c in the first bracket and a plus bracket b plus c in the second bracket and b plus c was already one of the factors. So the total comes out to be b plus c as first factor, a minus b minus c as the second factor and a plus b plus c as the third factor. If we look at question number 14 part 1, it is a plus b whole cube minus a minus b. First of all, we have to understand that either we can take something common in this or not. So we can put it like a plus b whole cube minus, we can take it in bracket and it will come out to be a plus b because negative term, negative sign we have taken common. Now a plus b we will take common, the remaining value becomes a plus b whole square minus 1. Minus 1 or 1 can be written as 1 square as well. So again the identity goes x square minus y square is equal to x minus y into x plus y. So it is a plus b minus 1 as one factor and a plus b plus 1 as the another factor. To this question, part 2 of question number 14, we can see that this can be written as a perfect square and this term can also be written as a perfect square. If we take a negative sign common, it will be a square plus 2ab plus b square. And this term is already x square minus 2xy plus y square. When we put the perfect square, it will come out to be x minus y whole square and this term is a plus b whole square. Now, the same identity, this x minus y can be treated as one term and a plus b will be treated as another term. So it is x minus y minus a plus b as the first factor and x minus y plus a plus b as the second factor. When we finally solve it, it is x minus y minus a minus b as the first factor and x minus y plus a plus b as the second factor. Now, when we look to question number 15 part 1, this question is a bit difficult because first of all we have to multiply these terms, it will come out to be a square c square, a square multiplied by c square minus this b square multiplied by c square is b square c square. Then this a square multiplied by d square is a square d square and b square multiplied by this is b square and d square. Here it is minus 4 abcd. It can be written as minus 2 abcd and minus 2 abc. Now we are converting this 4 into 2 and 2 because here we can find out that this with a statement minus 2 abcd will become a perfect square. I can write it as a square c square plus or first we will take minus term minus 2 abcd plus b square d square. This will come out to be the first three terms 
which can be considered as a perfect square. Then minus, we can put it in the remaining format. It is b square c square plus a square d square minus, it is again plus 2ab cd because we have taken the negative sign common. So this will be written as ac minus bd whole square minus this can be written as bc plus ad whole square. Now as we have written this and this can be treated as x and this can be treated as y. So it is again x square minus y square. So this will be ac minus bd minus bc plus ad as the first term. And the second term will be AC minus BD plus BC plus A. And definitely if we open this, it will come out to be minus BC minus A. And this will remain same AC minus BD. So this will come out to be as the first factor and the second factor will be AC minus BD plus BC plus A. So these are the two factors. Which now in question number two of part 2 of question number 15, we can, this 4x square can be distributed in two terms, one is x square minus y square plus 3x square minus 3xy because this 4x square has been converted to x square plus 3x square and here it is plus 2x minus 2y. Now the first term x square minus y square can be written as x minus y into x plus y. In this term, 3x square minus 3xy, when I take plus 3x common, it becomes x minus y. In these two terms, again, when I take plus 2 common, again it is x minus y. So, if I take x minus y common in this, this and this term, so x minus y will come out to be common. The remaining term goes x plus y plus 3x plus 2. The factors which are remaining when we take x minus 2 common are these and we can add them up so it is x minus y as the first term and 4x plus y plus 2 will be the second term. Question number 16 part 1. Here we have to understand one thing that how to make a perfect square. When I am talking about a term like this x to the power 4 plus 5x square plus 9 this cannot be factorized if we are not able to make it a perfect square. Same way when I talk about x square plus 1 upon x square minus 11, so this also cannot be factorized if we do not make it a perfect square. We know that x square plus 1 upon x square minus 2, this is a complete perfect square. And here it is minus 11, so minus 2, the remaining value is minus 9. So this term can be written as x minus 1 upon x whole square and this is 9 so this is 3 square. If we further factorize it is x minus 1 upon x minus 3 and the remaining is x minus 1 upon x plus 3. So these are the two factors which are for this question. Same way as we have distributed 11 into two terms minus 2 and minus 9 same way we have to distribute here. To this 5x square we have to write in such a way so that it will become a part of perfect square. We already know this is a perfect square. It can be written as x square whole square. This is also a perfect square. So this is 3 square. We have to keep one thing in mind that the middle term should be twice of the first value x square multiplied by the second value that is 3. So this is 6x square. But here it is only 5x square. So if I am writing plus 6x square, I have to subtract x square from this. Now this has become a perfect square. It is x square plus 3 whole square. And this is already minus x square. So when we again do the factorization, so it is this minus this. And the second factor is this x square plus 3 plus x. So these are the two factors. Here, the most important is that we should be able to make a perfect square which will be very very useful in further studies. Plus, if in case you have any problem in any of the questions, you can email or contact us.